My name is Alexandra Clark and this is Telltale Stories, a series that explores topical issues and changing trends in society through insightful conversations with the public and industry experts. In our last episode, we interviewed a sustainability expert to gather the key facts about global warming. In this episode, we turn our attention to plastic pollution, another issue which requires rapid solutions beyond recycling. To investigate the solutions and barriers to a more sustainable lifestyle for the average shopper, we've interviewed the owner of a budgeon supermarket in North London, Andrew Thornton. Andrew wanted to reduce the overall amount of plastic packaging in store. So with the help from the campaign group, A Plastic Planet, they managed to create 28 different plastic-free zones in the supermarket in just 10 weeks. When Blue Planet 2 came out, the, the pivotal moment that shifted everything, we felt immediately we needed to do something uh, because we could do something. You know, you're drinking a drink, which has been in a plastic lined container for six months, what, how much of that plastic has seeped into the drink? How much plastic is in our bodies and what damage is that doing? You come into a supermarket to do your shopping and you still come out with a basket of plastic. So our campaign is really to look for alternatives in food and drink packaging. The recycling system is not going to change in the foreseeable future. So we took the stance, well, okay, well, what if we could cut plastic out? What we've done is we say, if you want to do plastic-free shopping, there are 28 different parts of the store you can go to and you will be able to shop plastic-free. So all the way around, we've got set beside each other, the plastic-free option, the plastic option. We launched on the Thursday. We started on the Tuesday, putting up all this point of sale material you can see around. And as we were putting that up, customers are saying, ah, that's what's going on. That's for your bread now in paper. Ah, and everybody was like, wow, we have not had one single person who said, what are you doing that for? I've never experienced making a change in the 12 years I've been doing this, that no matter how amazing it is, you'll always have someone complain. But we haven't had anybody saying, well, what, what's, what's this all about? We're actively removing products that are made with plastic packaging and replacing them with equi equivalent products that are not plastic. And we will communicate with the, the CEOs of the companies whose products we've delisted, saying we're no longer stocking your product because it's in plastic, but if you do get yourself into plastic free, then we will, we will happily have you back. Where are the biggest challenges? There are not enough products available on the marketplace that are plastic free to have a plastic free supermarket. So at the moment, for example, it's really important to us that we can have really good quality buffalo mozzarella. We, can, we haven't been able to succeed in getting buffalo mozzarella in a plastic free packaging. Our aspiration is to be virtually plastic free in three years time, but we can only do that with the support of the big brands. Um, Could you give me some examples? So Coca-Cola, Walker's Crisps, um, all of those sort of products, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Consumers are searching for change and right now they, they have very little choice in supermarkets, but there are solutions. So these supermarkets are you know, showcasing that it's not in five years or ten years, there are solutions now. 